Winnie Michelle Thompson back with some mad ab planks. Let's go ahead and start with a little bit of a warm up with our small circles. As I've said before, you never want to start with your body being cold. So just keep reversing. Let's do some head and shoulder rolls. Very important. And turn these planks. The majority of the time, you will need to keep your chin to your chest instead of looking up, hyperextending that neck. Let's do some shoulders up, shoulders down. Let's raise our arms up this time. Touch the floor. You need to bend your knees a little bit. You can. twist upper torso only let your head follow back to the front stretch out those legs a little bit lean into it as much as you can hold it for a few seconds go over to the other side have to wear boots like I do, but I'm 52 and as you get older you lose that calcium, I don't want to pop an ankle. It's not worth it to me. But however you choose to do these, what you're comfortable wearing, footwear or barefoot, it's fine. And we'll just lean down, get a good stretch in our back, round it up. Into the chest, put your hands back a little bit, coming back forward, move your feet in, straight up, stretch up again, big arm circles, back, pop, pop. All right, let's get into our planks. All right, we're gonna start in a high plank position. Go ahead and have your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Hold that tummy in. Again, Zoe, my beautiful timer. You will be letting us know when we're at the 30 second mark and the one minute mark. Now, at this point, if you can, lift up one leg. Stay hydrated. All right, this one, guys, please be very, very careful. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of the mat for this one. Get into a forearm plank. Have your legs spread at a comfortable position for you. Now, I'm just gonna show you very, begin with the, you're going to have your 
toes sort of rolling back and forth. That's going to give your body leverage. So, as my feet go to the left, that helps propel my body up. Let's begin. And arm is bent in the elbow position to the sky. Hold it. Back down. You'll roll your feet to the other side. Same thing. Be very careful, guys. This is a more advanced plank. It's typically a plank that men do. We can do what they can do, right? This is going to give you some great obliques. You have to recheck your balance, do so at any time. And you did that one. Good job. Let's see what we got next here. We are going to hold each leg out laterally, beginning now. Hold that leg out. Down. Good job. Are you feeling the intensity of these? I know my heart is racing. You're getting good cardio and body resistance, which kind of makes me think. People used to push cardio, cardio, cardio. Not the case anymore. Research has shown that you do not have to be killing yourself with cardio every single day. If you love cardio and want to do it, that's great. But 15 minutes, three to four times a week is fine. It's more important to work on things like weights or anything like this that will give you some body resistance. So you don't even have to have equipment. You can have things from your kitchen. You thought we had retired this? Nope. Sorry to say we haven't. This time, all right, let's go ahead and get in that high plank. Make sure you are on a surface that is comfortable. Keep that chin in towards you. And you are gonna bring the leg around as close to your elbow this time as possible. Beginning now, it looks really strange. We're gonna do that with the right leg for a full minute. So you can imagine what all this is working. It's not only working on your abs, is working on that lower back, you know, that mushroom look that hangs over the shorts. It is working on the bootay. And of course, your inner thighs. Planks are just a bomb. 
This one is not easy. You have to stop. It's okay. All right. That was one minute. We are going to do the same thing with the left leg. Hydrate. You can do it with a paper plate. You don't have lighters. Most people don't. I don't know. If the gyms are really open and whatnot. Oops. All right, let's start again. Up, elbow, back. Main thing is having correct form and being very careful with the surface you're on. Carpet is not always the greatest, but as far as lighting in the room, we have to do it as one of our reposition that I put there. And you guys did it. First of all, I want to congratulate any of you who went through the 31 day plank challenge with me. If you did not, of course it is there, right on my channel. So you can go through it at any time. These are all the planks that I did during that challenge. And so I just encourage you if you want a great full body workout that's not going to take a whole lot of time, literally, you can get a plank in in less time than a full commercial break and still probably grab some water and a snack and sit back down. Okay? So think about that. Everybody has two and a half minutes where they can get a plank in each day at the very least. I love you guys. Stay in this on the channel because I will continue to have different exercises and also nutritional type help. What I think about green drinks, celery detoxing, I have been doing that. I will always try things out and not just blurt it out to you guys. But anyways, God bless you for today and all your tomorrows, and peace out.